at first I was like, ah! Hi friends and family, I'm back with another video. And as you guys can see, there's some change to my hair. Um, I colored it and this is actually the first time I colored my hair like fully from the root. Um, obviously it's been some weeks so you can see the new growth coming in right here. Um, but before but before you guys saw this, I had it fully colored and to be honest with you guys, it was a little bit um, shocking to me. At first I was like, ah! but now I'm fully loving and embracing my hair. Um, I love the color and when the sun just shines, um, it's, she's beaming, what can I say? Since I've gotten colored, I definitely noticed um, a limpness to my curls, I guess you would say. It took some time to get them back and popping. And I've actually been using the Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Salve. I used this back in December when I straightened my hair. I use it to help get back my curls snapping after straightening it with heat. So I use it again and again and again. I think I used it three times more um, since I have gotten it colored. I, I know, I know I have caused uh, damage to my hair by coloring it. I did not bleach it at all, it's just color. But even then, damage can be caused. So I have been trying to be good to my hair and I've used the Bond Curl Rehab Salve. And I really recommend this. I do believe that it has made a difference in getting my curls um, to recover after coloring it and then getting it straightened at the same time. So that's that. But besides that, I'll also be reviewing for you guys these products for you guys. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Hey guys. All right, so I've already kind of started with the first step, which is applying my uh, Bond Curl Rehab Salve to kind of rebuild and strengthen my hair and get it back to health you know, prior to coloring it. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys what it states on the back of the uh, bottle. Um, so it says how to feed your curls. It says Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Salve is not a conditioner. It's a lightweight, intense treatment that makes hair look stronger and more resilient. Apply generously on damp hair, which I've sectioned my hair in, um, into four big sections. And I've already applied or saturated my hair uh, the four sections um, the three sections right here and then I have one section left that I have not done but it's still quite damp uh, I wanted to do it with you guys so that you can kind of see what the product uh, looks like and how it applies anywho it says apply generously on damp hair until it is fully saturated and leave on for a minimum of 15 minutes longer if desired um, it says up to an hour, you can leave it on. You rinse off thoroughly and follow with your favorite Curl Smith cleanser, conditioner, and stylers. I will let you guys know that before applying the bond salve, I actually washed my hair um, because my hair was um, really dirty from about a week and a half to almost two weeks of a wash and go that I kept on going. So that's why I felt like I have to uh, clean it so that the product can better penetrate uh, my hair um, So my hair is already cleansed and I'm applying this product on cleansed hair um, So I'm actually gonna rinse it off with just a mild Conditioner that's good for my scalp. I tend to use the yes the tomatoes um, I'll list it below, but it's kind of like a scalp relief type of conditioner. Uh, it has great slip so it's good to use to like even just kind of co-wash with it. So I'm kind of gonna use that to rinse off this product and then follow it up with a cream deep conditioner. Cause you should always follow up some sort of protein treatment with a deep conditioner. Anyway, so hair is already damp. I've used my 
tangle teaser, as you can tell, to detangle my hair. So it's pretty nice and detangled. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is apply a generous amount of the Bond Curl Rehab Cell. So, do do do. It has like a pearlescent type of uh, look to it. The texture is kind of creamy. It's very runny. So, I'm just gonna run it between my hands and kind of use the prayer hand method to spread out the product. I'm gonna use a little bit more. And then also rake in the product. All right, and then I like to kind of twist it and tuck the ends in and apply my um, plastic uh, cap and kind of let it sit for um, about 30 minutes and then rinse it off, apply my deep conditioner and um, I'll follow back up with you guys so that you can see what the deep conditioner looks like. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with my hair rinsed off from um, the Bond the bond Salve, the Bond Curl Rehab Salve, okay? And the curls are looking quite juicy, as you can tell. And um, I must say, like from other protein treatments that I have tried, such as like the Affigy, it comes in a white bottle. Um, it's quite popular. Um, it's different in that this one, like once you rinse it off, your hair is like so soft. It doesn't give that um, strawy, uh, hard type of texture that you get when uh, you put protein treatments in your hair and then you have to follow it up with deep conditioner. But regardless, we are still gonna follow th this treatment with conditioner and this is the double cream deep quencher so i'm just gonna put a generous amount in my hair i've used quite a bit of it and i love it, it smells good it smells clean and honey she is thick okay like you don't need much and when you leave it on even just for a little bit i've, le I've left it on for 15 minutes in the past and it has still provided me with the moisture that I need and then I've left it on as long as an hour as well and um, of course I got maximum moisture then but um, either way even for a quick a quick <laughs> treatment it performs fabulously so definitely try it I'm gonna apply a little bit more I'm gonna detangle some more because you can never detangle enough Okay, and then I'm going to kind of twist my hair um, for curl training. And I've not done it um, you know, often enough for me to tell you guys that it makes a difference. But supposedly, if you do this often enough, it should help you with um, achieving you know, optimum curl pattern. But I like to do it because it's just easier and it protects the ends. And I like to tuck mine. You don't have to tuck yours if you don't want to, but I like to tuck it because I like to protect my ends. just from the bond treatment. And you guys, there I must say there's quite a generous amount left in the bottle, even though I have used it a couple of times, I would say about at least three times since I've gotten my hair colored. And then prior to that, I've used it um, two, two times, so. Definitely a bang for your buck. All 
All right, guys, I'm back with my hair all the way clean. I rinsed off the deep conditioner. I literally just stepped out of the shower. My hair is soaking wet, which is like the perfect condition for you to have your hair when applying your styling products. Um, so I'm gonna first apply the curl conditioning oil and cream, which is a leave-in conditioner. And you guys, this is my second, if it would open, this is my second purchase of this um, leave-in. It is so nice and thick and she ain't going nowhere, honey. But it smells really good and um, yeah, it kind of has like a vanilla-ish type of smell. Um, but it's very thick and it's so nice, so moisturizing if you have a particularly dry hair. And then I'm going to follow it up with my favorite um, uh, gel. And this is the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. And at the bottom, they put the um, the hold. This is a seven hold, um, which I don't understand how this is a seven hold because it doesn't have any crunch. Uh, I mean, it provides hold, but it's not crunchy and it doesn't last for like days. Uh, I would say that it lasts you for about two to three days uh, before you have to refresh. But yeah, I, I like how uh, moisturizing the gel is. Um, I do believe it has, uh, let's see, hyaluronic acid. Yep, that's what that is uh, for extra moisture. Um, so I'm gonna apply the leave-in conditioner first. And you guys, I'm not gonna section off my hair because I'm kind of pressed for time. And also because I feel like we spent good money on these products here, so I need I need it to perform without, you know, extra attention to each strand. So I'm gonna do my lazy girl routine and kinda rake in the products. If you notice any troubled areas that you have, like for me, it's the crown of my hair where I have the most um, frizz and dryness and the bottom of my hair, like the ends. So I'm gonna focus on those areas. But, so I suggest you do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. Let me take a little more look at the big mirror. You can also do the prayer method to evenly distribute products. Doesn't have to be perfect, move on. Or you can apply your gel right here and right now. So I think, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply gel. And the gel is, uh, I wish it would focus, but There it is, very runny. It's clear. It barely has a scent to it. If I'm looking behind you guys, it's because I have the large bathroom mirror. So that's why I'm looking over there. This has got to be like one of my favorite gels. It's so, I don't know. I know it's supposed to have like gel-like texture, but it's also like very creamy. So love that makes application very easy. So it has a lot of slip. All right, I wanna move on to the next part of my hair before it dries out. So here it is. And you know what? I'm actually gonna apply a little more water. My hair, you guys, it dries so fast. Like, I can't overemphasize how fast my hair dries without products in it. Now, when once product is in there, it takes forever. Just making sure it's nice and detangled. I don't have my Denman brush with me today, so we're just gonna make it work. I do have my tangle teaser, so. If you have uh, similar problems to me where I, my hair tangles up pretty quickly, this 
this tool is quite handy. Y'all see how the brush goes through it so smoothly? Mm. That's that deep conditioner, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream. A generous amount. And it rake it through. See this section right here is drying quite fast. So go ahead and apply a little bit more water. Even if you have already applied your products, that's fine. You can still apply some water. You can do whatever you prefer, prairie hen method, or you can just rake it in. I like to do both. All right, y'all. So here is looking juicy. I don't know if y'all can see it. All the curls have gotten um, the tension that they deserve and so what I'm going to do now is um, diffuse my hair and see what the final results look like so keep on watching hey guys I'm back with my hair dry I wish I could tell you this is day one but it's definitely day three I had family event to attend after drying my hair and I was already running late um, so I didn't get a chance to record for you guys um, and then I had to work, blah, blah, blah. So here we are on day three. Um, so I'm gonna turn around to show you guys what it looks like. Obviously day one and two was a lot more defined and shinier and all that good stuff. But this is day three and I think it still looks amazing. And I think I'm just gonna let it go on today, maybe four and five before I even refresh. Um, so let's take a right out. Um, this is what it's looking like. Lots of volume, lots of shine, and movement, of course. So, no stiffness here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very pleased with the, with the results, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I refresh using the Reactivator, uh, also a Curlsmith line, uh, part of the Curlsmith line. Um, so I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I refresh. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be tomorrow, day four, or day five, but whatever day it is, we're gonna do it together. All right, until then, bye. Hey guys, I'm back to do a refresh with you guys. Ugh, I'm so sleepy, didn't get enough sleep last night, but you know, we still gotta go to work. Um, so, so please forgive my crusty little face, but let's move on with the refresh see um, it's definitely time for a refresh I mean there's still a uh, hold but it's a lot more frizz now so I think it's a good time for a refresh and I am going to be showing you what I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Curl Smith moisture memory reactivator and I'm gonna read you what the directions uh, state. To refresh your style or rehydrate between washes, spray onto dry hair and follow with styling products if desired. To use as a leave-in conditioner, apply to damp hair after washing and style as usual. I know it states that you uh, to spray it on dry hair for a refresh and then to spray it on um, damp hair for uh, to use it as a leave-in. But personally, I like to wet my hair first and then use it as a reactivator or as a refreshing. Let me dampen my hair. All right, guys, so my hair is nice and saturated with water. Um, 
<sighs> okay, anyways, <laughs> so now I'm going to apply the reactivator and you know, I like, I really like the product itself, but I just don't know about these spray bottles, y'all. Like, this one is not too bad, but also it's probably because I don't have any upper arm strength that it requires both my hands. But let's see. Yeah, it requires both my hands. Just smooth that and scrunch your hair for definition and. But if you don't, if you don't care for volume or definition and you rather have length, then don't scrunch your curls. Just leave them alone. All right, guys, I think that's pretty good. Um, please note, this does not have any hold. So I'm going to apply the um, is it hydro jelly because I do want some hold. Um, it's super humid uh, today. Well, super humid every day in Georgia, but... Yeah, it's super humid, so I know she's gonna frizz up if I don't put some sort of holding gel. So I'm gonna do that. But as far as the uh, the reactivator itself, I like it. It gives your hair um, a pop and revives the curls, but I don't think it should be used alone if your hair needs hold. But it's perfect if your hair is like um, extremely fine and you don't want it you know, just burden it with too many products and weigh it down. But I have a lot of hair, so we gonna need some hold. Okay, and as you guys can tell, I didn't apply too many products. Because I just don't want to have product build up. Um, but I'm pleased. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and diffuse it. I'm going to come in closer so y'all can see the moisture. Of course, you're going to have frizz. But again, the best way to combat frizz is to embrace it. So. But it's super moisturized and so soft, like it's pillow soft, guys. So, yep. So, but I'm gonna dry my hair and show you guys. Hi, guys. I'm back with my hair nice and dry. I did not diffuse my hair um, after the refresh. I was pressed for time, had to go to work, so I just let it air dry on my way to work. And this is the results. As you can see, I am not lacking for volume. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's a lot of hair and just the way I like it. There is definitely definition, but also frizz mixed in there. But I don't mind. There's some frizz right there. Um, I don't mind frizz because I just feel like it adds a different type of um, texture and it contributes to even more volume so i just embrace the fruit but overall you guys i must say i love these products um if i had to absolutely choose it's gonna be hard because i'm very very careful with my spending so i understand that 30 dollars per per product that's just ooh, a little bit too much for me personally because um, I use multiple products for my wash day, so to spend $30 per product, that's that's a stretch. Um, but the ingredients are awesome, so I feel like it's worth it. And the uh, the quantity of products that you get is, is generous for what you're paying. If I have to absolutely pick, oh, I got one, two, three, four, five products to choose from. Um, so I'm gonna go with order. So my favorite one would be the bond salve because this is something that i just need to repair my hair after um damage um because i i do love coloring my hair and i'm not gonna stop uh and i do like straightening my hair sometimes and i'm not gonna stop 
Um, so I'm just gonna choose products that are going to help me with rebuilding strength. So I would definitely recommend this. I then would, yeah, I would then definitely uh, pick up the deep quencher because I feel like it's a really, really good um, deep con conditioner. And again, the generous amount that you're getting and you just need a few amount. Like you don't need a whole bunch to uh, get a deep condition. So the product lasts for quite some time. So I'll definitely repurchase the deep cream, deep quencher. And then the third choice would be the Hydro Styling Flexi Jelly. Um, I have not had uh, a gel quite like this before. It's very lightweight, but it also has hold. So I don't know what magic they put in here, but with a seven hold, I would expect lots of crunch and just crustiness. <laughs> But my hair is so soft draw and the definition lasts for several days. Um, so this is a staple and this is my second or third bottle that I've actually purchased because I just love it. And then I would, if I had some extra money's left, I would repurchase the curl conditioning oil and cream, which is the leave-in. And I'll show that to you guys as well. Um, like I said, if I had some spare funds, I would definitely repurchase it. I do feel like it's quite heavy and you have to use it sparingly if your hair is easily weighed down. So yeah, still a goodie, but when I have extra funds is when I would contemplate purchasing this again. And then lastly, I would consider repurchasing the Moisture Memory Reactivator. I'm just, I've just had other um, refresh products that have worked for me in the past that are drugstore brand, um, like the Camilla Rose, um, coconut water, curl, something, but it's meant to refresh your hair and that has worked just fine for me in the past and it doesn't cost as much as this. So I break the bank when I can have another product that performs just as, just as well for a lesser cost. So that being said, I don't know about repurchasing this. I don't know about that. Especially since you can make your own reactivator. You can make your own reactivator. Um, I've done it in the past where I just put uh, a leave-in, some water, shake it up in my water bottle, and just spray that for reactivation purposes. So I don't know about repurchasing this, you guys, but that's just me. Definitely try it and judge for yourself. But overall, you guys, I would definitely purchase or at least try other Curl Smith products. It's based on what I've tried so far, I feel like their ingredients are really, really good. And, you know, it's worth the splurge if you have it. Um, now I will say, I actually purchased these items, um, except for this, because I've purchased this several times. I purchased these items when they had their 40% off, I think it's like 30 to 40% off um, during Black Friday. So that's when I stocked up. Um, so I don't know if I would, sorry, there's like something flying away, <laughs> flying around. Um, so I don't know if I would purchase these items if they were full price. But now that I have tasted the goodness of Carl Smith, yeah, I see myself splurging a little bit more in the future. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, I hope this has been very helpful to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I hope you guys try it and it works out for you guys. So as always, thank you so much for your time. And I wish you a wonderful day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you. Bye.